And what about upgrade? So here in this examples, we showed how we migrate from one server to the other. However, with this strategy, we can also migrate and upgrade at the same time. Let's see how this works. So basically, to make this possible, the newer versions of ARMM can read and restore and recover older versions of backup sets created from older ARMMs. So you can take an 11 g database backup and restore and recover it using a 19C uh, swap database software, okay? So let's see the concept of this. So let's go to the latest step where we already have the downtime. So here we stop our source system. And at that point that we take the latest incremental level one backup, we do the same here. So we take this, this latest incremental level one backup, we move it to the target host, we recover it. But now instead of opening our database in open reset logs mode, we add this upgrade clause. So with this upgrade clause, our database will be opened. And now I can run an upgrade a process on top of it to put this database on the higher release. So we can run, let's say auto upgrade or something. And after this database is upgraded, we finally redirect the accounts, the applications to connect on this new system. So let's see this again in a timeline. So first, again, we take the backup incremental level zero. In the source system, we move it to the target environment and we restore it there. Now, before the migration window, before the downtime, first we run out upgrade in analyze mode in our source environment to check all the reps that we need to perform before upgrading this system. So here in this example, we are breaking the auto upgrade in the three phases approach. So instead of running out upgrade just with the deploy mode, we are breaking it in the analyze mode, in the fix up, and then finally in the upgrade mode. The first two steps we run in the source system and the final one, which is the upgrade mode, we run in the target environment. So again, first we run the analyze mode to get all the list and to check if this, up, this database can be upgraded to our target host. So now when it comes to the downtime to our migration window, we stop our connections on this system. We run again the analyze mode just to ensure that nothing is different since we do the latest analyze mode. And finally, we run the fit up mode. Now we are going to fix in anything that's spending on the system to do the upgrade. Now we stop this database system. We put it in mount mode or in read only mode. And we take this final incremental level one backup there. We move it to the started environment. We recover the database. We open it with reset lots and also with this upgrade clause. And finally, we run out upgrade with the upgrade mode in the target environment. And that's it. That's how we use the RMAN to migrate and to upgrade our database on a single step.